Hey you guys, what is up? I have not gotten around to rendering all the video footage I have from the Bentonville City Championships last weekend, but I do have this for you. It's a playtcg.me match uh, from a little while back, um, a couple days ago I think, where I am playing the most updated version of my Landorus Garbodor Mewtwo deck. Uh, you can see I'm actually leading with the shiny Terrakian going first. I decided to attack the 1 of Terrakian. I have actually struggled a little bit against um, straight Dark Rye variants. At least that's my experience from Bentonville City Championships. So I decided to add in just a 1 of Terrakian and an energy switch to kind of try and combat that. But anyways, um, I am faced against a Mewtwo uh, lead, and we see the water energy drop. So that means he's probably playing Blastoise. Blastoise is a matchup I actually like quite a bit, and um, we're going to see that I have a weird kind of situation here where I don't really know what I should attach. It's kind of risky um, to attach to DCE, but I'm going to anyways. Uh, just because if he has his own DCE, which Blastoise decks do tend to run in varying numbers, usually no more than two, but if he does have the DCE in hand, then he can really, you know, put a number on me. So I'm going to get the Rescue Scarf on my Trubbish, which is great. I actually have the Heavy Ball as well, so I'm going to be able to search out the Garbodor. Um, I really like the one of Tech Heavy Ball. Uh, if I had room for a second Heavy Ball, I'd definitely play it to boost my consistency, but... You know, I'd rather have the four Ultras be able to search for my Trebuchet when I need them. Uh, even though you have to discard, I'm, you know, willing to make that sacrifice. So I have my turn two lockup. I have a Mewtwo DCE with an Eviolite. Um, so long as he doesn't have the um, du Double Colorless Energy himself, I feel pretty good about my standing in the board right now. I'd like to get out another Trubbish just because, you know, he might knock it out. And he drops the Keldeo now, so I'm pretty positive he's playing Blastoise, even though I haven't seen the Squirtle just yet. Uh, he seems to be having trouble hitting that, and at the same time, you know, if you if you don't have the Squirtle, then eh, you probably, well, at this point, it might not be as advantageous to bench it. You know, I already have the lockup. It's not really the best. So he's going to actually max potion, get another water energy on him, and now I'm kind of unsure. I feel like I'm being maybe baited in terms of the, um, in terms of him having the DCE. If I go for any energy attachments, I don't have the DCE myself, so I can't really try and X-Ball him. But I'm in a computer search for the Switch, just because I, I know I need to play it in order to get back out. And I'm going to Juniper anyway, so there's no point in not computer searching now. I need to play the supporter. I could have maybe gone for um, some kind of hand refresh, but at the same time, it wouldn't have really mattered. I knew I'd have to empty out my hand to do that. So the good news is I do get the... Um, the uh, Trubbish, which is nice uh, to try and secure my lock a little bit more. I'm going to actually play it safe and attach the other energy onto the Bench Me 2X. I could have actually tried to just go super aggressive, play the energy switch and attach the energy to Mewtwo, but he does have the double colorless, so I feel like that was just a nice play in terms of keeping all my energy on the field. So he's going to be able to X-Ball me and actually take the first KO, and looks like we're kind of in for a little bit of a Mewtwo war, which, um, you know... It's been a while since I've brought any kind of Mewtwo Wari type games. It's just not as much of a thing in this format. And it's also really interesting that this is going to be a Mewtwo War where um, I don't have energy acceleration. So um, I do have that energy switch, which is important. I know I'm going to have to Juniper in a second here, so I'm going to just kind of play out my cards uh, like I'm going to. I'm probably going to Ultra Ball for something good. I'm not exactly sure what. Probably another Mewtwo, actually, if I have it, and I do, so... Yeah, grabbing out the other Mewtwo is a play I like. I'm still going to be vulnerable to one of his Mewtwo's after I knock this one out. I'd also like to get another energy on another Mewtwo, uh, and this is actually pretty great. I'm going to actually play the EXP share on the uh, Terrakian, which I'm actually okay with simply because I have the DC to attach to my other Mewtwo. So now I can just X-Ball him back. I know that I should be able to take out his Mewtwo if he can attack with it. So at this point, I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot. I have the lockup, so, and I have more energy on the field. I have, you know, four energy to his none. So assuming that he can't get up Blastoise, I really like my position. Um, tool Scrapper would be a little inconvenient, but I do have a Rescue Scarf in hand that I'm going to hang on to in order to make sure that the lock doesn't go away. Uh, at this point, it's pretty hard for him to take the lock away from me. So I'm actually going to attach to my Terrakian. I just want to have really all my attacking options open. And I don't really want to put on any more energy. It's kind of playing this very cautiously. I don't have the double colorless energy to try and 
knock it out. So if I can't one shot it, I don't want to try and you know put myself in a situation where I'm going to give him free prizes. But he does have the DCE yet again, so he kind of baits me with that. And he's going to take it down to two prizes. So now it's kind of scary. I do remember that the EXP share does apply to my Terrakian. So that's pretty nice. Um, kind of a weird spot with where I should attach for next turn, though. So I'm going to draw for turn. I'm going to attach the Terrakian. Just play it safe, you know. I don't want him to be able to just KO my Mewtwo. I want to, you know, make it tough for him to take prizes. And uh, I'm just going to X-Ball. And now it's already down to, a, you know, a few prizes in this game. So he's going to bring up the Keldeo. And, um... With this Keldeo, he's going to attach a Water Energy and pass. So I'm going to be able to just draw for turn. I should attach an Energy somewhere, but I'm also a little scared. He does have two Water in the, or two DCE in the discard, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and I'm going to X Ball for 80. I have the Catcher in hand, and I'm pretty sure I can just actually retaliate the next turn. Keldeo only has 170 HP, so that would be a KO. So that's my game plan at this point. He's just going to scoop right here, and so that'll be the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you rate, like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys with more content later.